guys? How you doing? Steve Lav here. Yeah, on this one here, I got a call from this guy. I put a tiger loop in this guy's house uh, about a month ago, I guess. He had a Colin burner over there, and he called me. He had a small drip on the tiger loop. So I went back over there, fixed the leak, and I just did a combustion test, checked the combustion test on the uh, with the Testo 320. So I just kind of show you that. Nothing, nothing fancy. I just wanted to do a um, combustion test. Back when I when I uh, installed the Tiger Loop, I didn't do it. I didn't have time or whatnot, whatever. But I'm not gonna charge the guy for it. Just figured I'd go ahead and check it. Everything seemed to be okay. You, know, you can't always get the, the temperatures and pressures and everything perfect on this stuff. I had one guy say, "Oh, you gotta get your um, excess air at 20 to 25 percent." Well, not always. On this one here, it was like 45% excess air. I tried to, you know, cut the air back, and um, the CO was going crazy. So not everything's cut and dry. Uh, you got perimeters, you got to fall within, uh, and you got to stay within them perimeters. So uh, nothing's carved in stone out there. We're going to shoot for low, low carbon monoxide is what we shoot for, and the rest of the stuff falls falls where it may, and that's the deal there. So. I was going to do a draft test on it, but the temperature was already getting like 220 on the high limit. I had to shut it down, so I didn't end up doing a draft. I know it's got good draft because I, I did a manual draft on it. It was fine over the fire last time I was here. So. Yeah, combustion analysis is a lot like uh, charging an air conditioner. You know, the pressures and temperatures aren't always the same, aren't always perfect, right? You know, there's always variables that you got to take into consideration. It's the same thing with combustion analysis. Gas or oil, uh, ain't nothing carved in stone, there ain't nothing perfect. So, there's parameters that you have to try to follow within, and you get it the best you can. And that's the way it is, you know, in the real world. Uh, we're not working in laboratory conditions here where everything's exactly the same. Every, all these units are different, they're older. Um, different burners, different setups, different drafts. Temperature of the day, every, everything comes into effect here, you know. So I just figured I'd mention that. That's the deal. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. that start it up with that button right there and start up zero plus but I'm only going to run it here zero one out Analysis okay. Oil number two oil okay. Push that again and it's gonna run. It's starting to run. I'm ready for my test. Burn them oil fired unit. We're gonna check it. My adapter in there already. here a couple of weeks ago actually 
about a month ago, I guess. I put that tiger loop in. That's looking good right there. I'm going to cut the ear band back a little bit and bring that, bring that 10.45 up just a little bit. See where my excess air is right now. 45, a little high on the excess air. Well, let me cut that back and see what happens. I'm going to cut the ear band back a little bit. Shit, we're off on high limit. Well, that's my million. See that thing climbing? Adjust it, my CO came up, see? So, what I'm going to have to do is bring it back down. Seals dropping, but I'm fine with that. 1045, 7% oxygen, 81%. Can't always get the excess air where you want it. You know, some of us had a guy say oh, it's going to be 20 to 25%. Can't, not always. You're going to get the CO, you know, that's the most important thing. That's, that's fine right there. That's where it, basically where it was before when I got here, setting it by eye, so we're going to leave that. I'd rather run mine a little bit lean than too rich and it will have to soot up. When you start getting around 12% here, you're really close to being sooty. So I like to run mine a little bit on the lean side, as long as the, um, the CO is good. Parts per million right there. See that 7? That's good. That's good. I'm happy with that right there. 81.8%. How do you determine that? It's stack temperature and CO2 will give you efficiency. That's how they determine that. I got a chart that they go by on that too. CO2. Alright, I gotta shut it off because the high limit's already at 220. I don't want to go any higher than that. Just wanted to run it.
staple right there will be good with it. Shut it off. Shuts off the clamp itself. Alright, she's all done. I had to come back here. There was a small drip on one of these fittings. The guy had called me. So that's why I came back. And when I came back, I did the combustion test also. So that's it there. No big deal. There's all valves here. All the system. Old Colin burner. Yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching.